a whopping one pound spent there. Off to the next one. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement. Hello, hello, good morning. Wow, what a day it is today. It's Monday. Um, it's the second day since I started my YouTube channel and my Instagram page for documenting what I do. Um, yesterday, I found myself entangled in a little bit of a challenge. You may have seen Kieran from Rummage Around. He uploaded a video with his £20 challenge of what he could buy from a car boot sale and make the most out of it as he can. I accepted his challenge, but I'm impatient. I can't wait another week to be able to do that. So today, I'm gonna to do the same challenge, but at a charity shop. This is all I'm gonna spend. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna spend more than this, I know I am, but I'm gonna make it fair by the first 20 that I spend will be the challenge. Anything after that won't count. So the first items that I find, which help me deplete this 20 pound note, will be the challenge items. So let's see what we can do. Someone's at the Primark here, right? Morning. Morning. I'm good, how are you? That's okay. Are you sure? I'll dive through to the end. Thank you very much. No, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you can get out your way. You can, obviously, you carry on, you do your thing. You're all right, I've got all the time in the world today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You say that and you right. Yeah, I should be cursing me, wouldn't you, when I leave? Don't worry. Just drop it in tomorrow, and yeah, with kid. Your sister. No remote. 
we can go into my garden. Well, they come and done the front gate. Oh, I don't know. But I can't even put my heat in and hot water on, you know. Um, he's going to have to wait the other day. He's like waiting around for a moment. Oh, I yeah, hate yeah. it. I get impatient. Yeah, so do I. I stopped pacing. Oh, no, I hate it. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to find these plates. I can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone's had a Primark clear out, haven't they? No, somebody um, liked to shop. Oh, okay. And they've had a clear out, and it's just what they didn't wear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's those predators you had in here the other week? You sold them? The box football trainers. Snooze, you lose. Just that'll do, thank you very much. Are you to work now? No, 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 no. Yeah. no, no. Take early time, not you? Could do. Um, but it I don't know if I'd like it. <laughs> I'm not liking this whole new routine I've got to have, though. I want to come in, I want to come in these places every day. No, I'm fine, Andrew. I'm actually not No, she's gone home. Oh, she wants to have some pets in the garden. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's really. 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 Oh, that's Good morning. Hello, my dear. You okay? Yes, yeah, so well. How are you going in? I will be, yeah. I'll oh, right, disinfect yeah. Yeah, when there's ready as well. Are we at capacity? No, I'm just going to Let's have a squibber. Let's see what we can find. Morning. Hello. How are we? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad's good, I think. Oh, right. That's right. Oh, I... Did they do a 
Old fish sticks. Of course. <laughs> How's life? Not too bad. Life, right? Not too bad. Old fish sticks. <laughs> You're gonna have me leaving here saying fish sticks all day today. You are. Well, yeah. Fish sticks it is then. I don't know what she was wearing, but you didn't like it. I think that's going to be it today, my lovely. Uh, I've got no idea what it is. Does it say? Oh. Uh, that, that was from the cap section up there. 50, 50 whole pence, I think. Yeah, and then. Oh, pound. Right, so what are we doing in total? Pound, yeah? Yeah. There you go, my lovely. Thank Listen, you. You have a good day. And you. Oh, thank you very much. Very Stay safe. Lovely. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. See you then. Thank you very much. A whopping one pound spent there. Off to the next one. Hello. Morning, ladies. It's been a while. Good afternoon. How are we? <laughs> Are you all coping well? Did you? Yeah. Oh, so I've missed out then, haven't I? Oh no, not a rage. An actual. Oh. Let's recover that and find another one. Oh well. You did use your hand, I right? did indeed, yes. Yeah. yeah, don't you worry. Oh, is that what it is? I think it works. Strange old thing, isn't it? Wah, wah, wah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, we can go down to the side here. Yeah. I'll, I'll take them out of the way, so have a little nose. There's a little space here you can use. I'll stick it down there. Yeah. I'll be fine. He knows the rules. <laughs> yeah. Eight twenty five, eleven seventy five. What's the price? Sorry, eleven seventy five. Eleven seventy five. Ten, eleven fifty, sixty, seventy five. Thank you. And I'll donate a pound. Oh, thank Finish you. Finish off my twenty pound spend. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Well, well, well. Would you believe it? We managed it. We spent exactly twenty pounds with the little help of a donation of a pound. Not a penny over. Not a penny less. Uh, let's get back to the unit and see exactly what we got and what we expect to make from this. I guarantee I've made more than what I've spent, but let's show you. And we're back. Let's see exactly what we got. I spent exactly £20 with the donation, but I spent no more and no less. Took nothing, brought nothing home. So let's take a look exactly what we got, why I picked it up, what I think I'm going to get for it and run it from there. Behold, the haul. We've got a few good bits here, nothing major. Well, one of them's okay. One of them needs a bit of research. So, we'll start with the clothing. Let's get the boring clothing out of the way. Got a pair of Timberland shorts, £1.50. Eight, nine quid, they're in good condition. Maybe even more, maybe a £10 all in. Um, I do most of my prices all in. Sometimes I postage, depending on what it is. But let's say eight quid back for those, done. Emporio Armani jeans, these are the JO1s, or JO6, sorry. Um, immaculate condition, my size, may even keep. These were £3, yeah, £3. A little tip when you're picking up Armani jeans, to see if you're being scammed or not. Have a look inside, you might have seen me on the video. Grab the label, look. Feels quality already, shut away. Um, you've got the maker's mark there. Yeah, that, the JO6s, there we go. Um, and always have a, I mean, you can add what you want if you're a counterfeiter, but it's a good sign to see. Okay, um, brand new, these are still selling for £79, so I'm going to go 40 for a quick sale, I think. Maybe 45 we'll go from there. Picked up this strange looking cap, only because I'd never seen it before. Um, you'll come to see that in my videos, I will buy things without even researching it. Especially if it's cheap enough, because then it forces me to learn about it. Cheers, Jacko. Um, and see what it is. Don't think I'm going to get much back for that. It might go in the car boot sale. Might go back to the charity shops. But I'm going to push, we'll do a bit of research and push for eight, nine quid on that. Uh, what else did we have? Okay, a bunch of light bulbs. Now, I always pick up light bulbs, especially if they're this cheap, and then save them all up, bundle them, and just sell them all as a job lot. 
you get people like housing developers, uh, people that just moved into homes, they all buy these sort of things. £2, £3.75, I'm going to push for 18 quid on them. Like, light bulbs are expensive now. Okay, moving on, top trumps. This was nothing special, 50p paid. I'm going to check to make sure it's all there. 2001 copy, probably get £4.89 all in for that. It's not too much to cost, to, to, to post. So let's say three quid after fees. Come on, 50p is not bad. Shunt. Again, didn't research this. Picked it up because it was brand new. £25 RRP when it first arrived first was released um he's almost done a few bits in his life so somebody's going to want to hear his story i did do a quick research paid 150 should probably get about 10 to 15 maybe maybe more than 10 mark on that but not bad for my 150 then we have a super mario 2011 3ds just a protective sleeve nothing special i think it was 50p i'm probably going to keep that until i get a 3ds and bundle that with it that will make me be able to up my listing by about three or four maybe five pounds so i'll hold on to that one we have a one for all vcr programmer this was 75 whole pence it is was brand new uh oh batteries have uh, exploded but they will go in the they will go next to the bin got my bubble wrap there at a minute so picked up this <laughs> awful one vcr remote it is brand spanking new um 75p not much maybe 7.99 all in eight quid not too much Ogio Street Backpack. Again, I picked this up without even doing any research. It looks quality made. You can tell that they're, you know, they obviously have a name in the industry. Done a bit of research online and um, it looks like, because this looks to me like it's branding from a certain company, from a certain summit that obviously happened. I'll research and find out. But it looks like when you're looking at completed listings, so many different companies have this bag with their branding. So they might have just pushed themselves out there, but some are selling for £30 used, some are selling for £5 used, some are selling for £55 used. So I've got to see what the crack is, but £3.50, if it ain't worth it, I'll keep that myself. It has hella pockets, pockets galore. So I'm not bothered about that, it's a nice little spend. Pick this up, paid £2.50. I did find a charger for it at home, so let's see. It's a 33.30. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on, come on, yes, so I'll check out, find out what network it's on, if it's unlocked, all the other jargon, have a go on Snake, obviously, um, £2.50, I'll get 15 back on that, 16 maybe, yeah, not a bad little buy, I'm glad that's turned on, I'm happy. So, the final piece, I believe, unless I've missed anything and left it in the bag. You might have saw it in the video, this is a Bulgari, Bulvagari, Vagari scarf, don't know how you say it. Um, it's a very luxurious brand, it's a designer, known mainly for their watches. Um, I need to check on this to see if it's real or not. It does have a nice rolled hem, which is always a good sign. Um, I haven't been able to find any tags or whatever on there. Last week I found a Hermes scarf like this, um, tagged, brand spanking new. Looked at solds, 800 quid, thinking, God, I'm in there. Pretty sure it's fake, though, so I need to do a check. But this one, I haven't researched it. Looks like there was a tag there. But I'll research it um, properly. I did have a quick look. One like this, but this is like a rectangle, not square. Sold for £40 brand new, so I'm not too sure. But I'm going to say, just for the video, I'm going to say I'm going to get £10 back on that. Because even if it is a replica, I know someone who collects replica things like this. They they like the design so they will buy that so let's have a quick run through 20 pound exactly spent i'm going to be very modest with the prices okay so we're going to go 15 pounds for the phone all in we're going to go 15 pounds for the bag all in that's 30. let's say let's say eight for the timberland 38 Gonna keep hold of that, but if I was to sell it, maybe a couple of quid. So thirty eight, let's go forty. Not too sure about that, so I'm gonna say a pound at the car boot. Forty one. Then we've got 
the VCR remote. Again, not too sure. I'm going to say eight or nine. So 41, 50 pounds. This is prices are all in. 10 pounds on that, surely. 60 pounds. Let's say 15 for this bundle all in. 60, so 60, 50, 65 pounds. 70, 70 pounds. I'm going to go for 40 on this no matter what because they're definitely worth that. And if I don't sell for that, I will keep them. So 70, 80, 90, 1, 110. We'll add that in as 10 pound. It could be more. 120 final sale prices. So there we have it. 20 pounds spent, whichever way you want to look at it. I left the house with 20 pounds, came back with zero pounds, and I'm left with these items. Expected listing price of around 130 pounds. Of course, fees and postage have to come off that as well, yeah. So let's say we've got 120 pounds, take off the fees, 12 pounds, let's say, let's say 12 pounds, not include PayPal just yet. So that's going to leave us with 108 pounds. Take off the postage, about three pound an item. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say thirty pound. It's going to leave us with, with around about seventy eight pounds. So from twenty pounds into seventy eight, give or take. I'll update as things sell. I'm, I might push a little bit higher when I actually list the items than what I'm saying for the video. I'm just being modest. Nice little morning out. When I saw some of the old faces again after they've reopened up after this whole pandemic um and yeah so i'll update i'll up li i'll list them update you as they sell and see where we go from there so uh kieran let's see what you're doing sunshine thanks for watching hit the subscribe button ding the bell for notifications drop a comment down below let me know you're there hit the like button if you like the video and um and yeah we'll see you on the next one i never